everyone welcome back to my channel uh, in today's video we are going to patch a record but uh, when patching records uh, we want to show you how we can set attachment while patching records uh, so first of all uh, the scenario comes when we have for example multiple screen and we cannot use the form feature that uh, power apps provides and you have to segment a form into multiple forms in that case patch comes really handy and uh, sometimes you might have to add attachments as well so i tried out different stuff uh, but i figured that there is uh, there is no inbuilt way of doing it uh, so you have to take a way around on doing this thing uh, so first of all let's insert some fields uh, so let me insert a text input uh, so let's say uh, let's call it enter your name and we can centralize it maybe put a little bigger font like 16 now uh, we can put a button that says oops, that says go next next so we can uh, duplicate this screen and probably uh, in this screen we can collect phone number into your phone number and let's say there is another screen which collects uh, a list of attachments so in, the, in this case I will insert a new form and then I will associate to a data source uh, no data source is found so I come to here and attach this employee list as a data source where I have created three fields name phone and attachment uh, so I want to use this as my data source so I go here and I add data I search for SharePoint and then uh, I have a bunch of connectors if you don't have connectors listed you can add a new connection so I come here I paste the link of my list and it shows me a bunch of lists that I can use this is the one that I want to use so I'm connecting to it now since I want this attachment field to show up in this page I will select I will click on this uh, form which does not have any fields yet and then I will select employ and it shows me all the uh, all the fields th that are there uh, but since I just want attachments to appear I will remove this by clicking uh, this and clicking delete and I want to keep it one column and maybe centralize it a bit so let's move this a bit uh, yeah let's keep it a bit short now uh, instead of go next I will keep it as final submit come back here <coughs> just rename some of this spelling now with each uh, go next it will move to next screen so I'm clicking here and setting this as navigate to screen uh, one underscore one I can rename this screen uh, to make it more readable but I can keep it that is as it is as well so in this I will put another navigate and then put screen one underscore two coming back here and since I need to submit form so I will use patch I want to submit it to employee and since I want to create a new re record I would use defaults employee and then the fields that I want to submit 
so I want to submit title and uh, the value of title or your name is in text input 2 uh, I can call rename is at text in AME and then in the second screen I can rename is at txt t-h-o-n-e so then coming back here I can put this title at txt and AME comma uh, phone txt t-h-o-n-e I can additionally get text value and text value and then close it now this does pretty much the job of uh, getting the text name as well as phone but now that I need to put attachments as well so what I'll do is put a comma and this is uh, form 2 let's call it form attachment copy it come back here and just put it here and then updates now let's take a view screen one play this my name is Sumit and I go to next screen I'll just put some number go next here uh, if you see uh, it says no item to display uh, because what we uh, this form is not initialized yet so I'll come back to this screen where in this button before navigating I will trigger the new form and then I'll call it form uh, sorry form attachments yeah so give a and yeah so here we go and when we click next now this form is initialized I click on attach file I select any file open it and then submit it so now this is submitting my file uh, now I come back to here and just refresh this list and I can see my name my phone number as well as attachment if I open it you can see the attachments being attached uh, as you can see the form is submitted but still if you see that uh, there it, it is still taking the old values so let's clear it up so I'll do some error validation if there is error while doing the patch it will show some message if error show some message saying there has been some problems right and then notification type is equal to error but this is only when there is error if everything is all right what i want to do is i want to reset my form which is form attachment right and then I want to reset sorry reset my fields txt name and then reset txt phone and then I want to go to the first screen navigate so screen one and before let's format it before everything else I also want to notify that the information has been successfully submitted success has been submitted now let's put yeah format this and play this and let's just submit it once more 
so we are supposed to see a green successful submission and we are coming back to the first screen come back here refresh it there should be another record with the same values so now i can use summit test demo plus nine something 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 go next put uh, some attachments submit it and then it'll show a successful message and then it'll show in the sharepoint list as well thank you so much i uh, hope you like the video uh, if you have any questions feel free to raise in the comment section and thank you so much uh, for watching my video see you next time